medical breakthroughs, healthier lifestyles, and life-saving medications are allowing people to live longer than ever before. That's the good news. The bad news is that as life expectancy increases, so does the chance of needing long-term care. But what exactly is long-term care? And why would you need a separate long-term care insurance policy when you already have health insurance? Long-term care includes a wide range of services needed when you are unable to care for yourself. It can range from skilled care down to custodial or personal care, the type of care most often used. It's the kind of care someone might need to perform everyday activities like dressing, eating, bathing, and personal hygiene. This personal care can often be received in the privacy of one's home, while recovering from an accident or illness, during an extended period of disability, or simply as the result of the normal aging process. When you have insurance that covers home care, you have the ability to avoid confinement in a nursing home. You can't depend on your health insurance or even Medicare to cover that. Neither of them will pay for the extended personal care you can easily receive in the privacy of your own home. In fact, today there are even long-term care insurance policies that will pay your family or friends to help you stay in the home. You never saw that in a health insurance policy, did you? You see, your health insurance is designed to protect you against the cost of treating illness or injuries. You'd be covered if you're hospitalized or when you visit the doctor, if you needed lab tests, and so on. Likewise with Medicare. Both might pay for a very limited amount of skilled care. You know, the kind of round-the-clock care that can only be provided by a registered nurse or professional therapist. The kind of care only a physician might order. Long-term care insurance, on the other hand, is designed to cover ongoing care and services required by those who are unable to care for themselves. Sometimes as the result of physical limitations, sometimes as the result of cognitive difficulties. Especially wonderful for those who'd want to be cared for at home, this kind of insurance also covers care in a variety of assisted living facilities and, as a last resort, nursing homes. Unfortunately, without long-term care insurance, you might have to go into a nursing home sooner than you'd want to, and the costs are enormous. All too often, long-term care insurance is the missing link in one's financial plan. As I said before, as life expectancy increases, so does the chance of needing long-term care. You already know that even today, you can't depend on Medicare. You see, the government is also affected by the aging of America. With more and more people accessing benefits under Medicare and Medicaid, the government is struggling to pay for care that can often prolong, even save a person's life. The bottom line is that the government will not be able to fund everyone's care in the future. Let's face it, the federal government knows the perils of long-term care, its high cost, and the minimal coverage government programs provide. So much so that the federal government is taking steps to protect its own. In fact, last year, they thought it best to make long-term care insurance available to government employees, retirees, and their families. And here's something else. The government already offers tax incentives to encourage people to purchase long-term care. Now they are ready to expand this through new legislation this year. The writing is on the wall. The government is promoting long-term care insurance to its own employees and families. They're sending a very clear message to Americans. And they're giving you a tax break to help you fund it. I sincerely hope this presentation helps you make one of the most important decisions of your life, whether or not to protect yourself and your family against the risks associated with long-term care. It's often the missing link in one's financial plan. To give you the best possible service and recommendations, your agent has researched and monitored the growing number of insurers and the long-term care products they offer. A good agent makes it a practice to look at the same things you'd want to know when choosing an insurance company. For example, is the insurer financially stable? Do they have a strong commitment to the long-term care market? What's their history? Are their policies priced correctly? Are their contracts easy to understand? This research saves you the time and hassle you'd have to endure when shopping for long-term care insurance. 
And because most agents deal with many different companies and products, you can take advantage of the wide array of plans designed to fit your every need, which you will see today. So if you don't already own a long-term care insurance policy, you owe it to yourself to take the time right now to listen and make an informed decision. And you can feel comfortable knowing you are dealing with an agent who can offer you just the right plan to meet your needs. With that, let's get started. Like most Americans, you're probably familiar with AARP, the American Association of Retired Persons. Well, according to their survey, 79% of Americans think that Medicare will cover the entire cost of a nursing home stay. What a misconception. The first problem with this is that people think you only need long-term care when you're older and covered under Medicare. In reality, 40% of people needing facility care today are under age 65. The second problem is that even after age 65, Medicare only pays for a maximum of 100 days in a skilled nursing facility. After 100 days, you would be on your own. This limited coverage is creating tremendous personal and financial burdens for thousands of American citizens. This is why long-term care insurance is being discussed so much today. People need help in addressing the difficult situation that you too may face. They need help reviewing a program that will help fill the gap that most health insurance and Medicare supplements just won't cover. Let's talk a little about the steps of the process. The very first thing you'll need to do is find out if you need long-term care insurance at this point of your life. You'll need to ask yourself two questions. Is it wise to continue covering this risk yourself, like you're doing now, or is it safer to transfer the risk to an insurance company, like you've done with your auto and homeowner's insurance? If you and your agent agree that it's best to consider long-term care insurance, then the next step is to educate you tell you things you may not already know. You'll learn why people need long-term care, what it costs, and what options are available to you to help fund those costs. At that point, your agent will recommend some options that are comfortable and within your budget. Once you choose a plan that will fit your needs, the application process can begin, and your agent will be there to help you every step of the way. But I should explain, long-term care insurance can be difficult to get. Many people would love to qualify for coverage, but may not be able to. You see, if everyone were accepted, premiums would skyrocket, as the insurance company would need the resources to cover everybody's claims. For that reason, insurance companies carefully assess each and every application, pick and choose whom they want to cover. This time-consuming process helps keep your premiums at an affordable level. To start the process, your agent will help you complete an application, which will be submitted to the insurer of your choice. A small down payment equal to two months premium is generally required. Now that you know the importance of careful underwriting, you'll understand why it may take an insurer as long as eight to ten weeks to make a decision. During that time, though, you can reaffirm the good decision you've made. And by the way, if you are accepted for coverage, you can be covered as early as today, the day you sign your application. The first thing that must be done is to see if long-term care insurance is right for you. In fact, state law requires your agent to determine your suitability for coverage before recommending anything to you. Suitability is determined by reviewing your income, your assets, your need for this coverage, and your personal goals. To do this, your agent will have to ask you a few questions before we continue. It's important to realize that the need for long-term care can occur at any age. Many people think it's only an issue for the elderly, but the fact is 40% of those receiving long-term care today are under age 65 during one's prime working years. In fact, one in five over the age of 50 is at high risk of needing long-term care within the next 12 months. Look at it this way. It's a fact that 50% of all Americans will need some long-term care at some point of their remaining lives. That's one out of every two. Suppose you looked out of your bedroom window and saw one of every two houses on fire. 
or if you saw one out of every two cars involved in an accident. Most everyone has insurance policies that protect their homes and cars, but the odds of losing your home or car are not anywhere near your chance of needing long-term care. One out of two. Don't let long-term care insurance be the missing link in your financial plans. The odds of needing care at any age are greater than you might have thought. And needing long-term care at any age is really not that surprising, especially when you consider people of any age can be involved in an accident and suffer its after-effects. Cars, motorcycles, and recreational vehicles are often the culprits. And how about recreational accidents from hunting, skiing, biking? Accidents can happen around the home, too. Getting in and out of the shower, slipping on a loose rug, falling down the stairs. But it's not just accidents. Illness can occur at any time and at any age. Did you know that one-third of all stroke victims are under the age of 65? People in the prime of their lives can develop all kinds of diseases. Cancer, diabetes, bone disease, kidney problems, heart disease, and so much more. So when you're making your decision, remember that age should not be a factor. Any one of us could need long-term care at any time, often when it's least expected. It's no secret that people are living a lot longer these days, and the longer we live, the greater our chance of needing long-term care. Many times, long-term care is needed following hospitalization, although the policies your agent will show you pay benefits whether or not you're hospitalized first. But let's assume you need to be hospitalized. With Medicare, you cannot stay in the hospital until your recovery is complete. Here's why. Hospital stays are governed by Medicare's diagnostic-related groups, a formula Medicare uses to determine the length of a hospital stay and how much they're willing to pay for care. Often referred to as DRGs, it means that instead of Medicare reimbursing hospitals for the actual cost of treatment, they will only pay a set fee. Extended hospital stays are not generally covered, which means recovery and rehabilitation must continue after a patient leaves the hospital. With the rush to discharge a patient, recovery is not always complete, and so any rehab must be done outside of the hospital. If it happened to you, the cost of recovery and rehab would, most likely, have to come out of your own pocket. Now I'm talking about Medicare, which normally covers you when you're over age 65. But in reality, many individual and group major medical plans have procedures that are very similar. Another reason people need long-term care today is chronic needs, often resulting from senile dementia or Alzheimer's disease. The problem here is that the longer you live, the greater your chance of getting Alzheimer's. Did you know that only 3% of those who are 65 show any signs of this progressive disease, but by age 85, the number grows to 50%? There is also chronic and crippling arthritis, sometimes causing near total immobility. Osteoporosis causes broken hips in women. Broken bones often result in the need for extended care. Diabetes could result in kidney or circulatory problems. Strokes can cause partial paralysis. Some people need care simply as the result of the aging process. They reach a point where they cannot perform personal activities of daily living all by themselves. They need help while they dress, when they go to the bathroom, get in and out of bed, even while they eat. Cognitive problems can arise too, requiring constant supervision. Any of these ailments require long-term care, and any of these could affect anyone at any time. So let's take a look at the possibility of a long-term care situation occurring in your life. It's a fact that almost 50% of all Americans will need long-term care at some point in their remaining lives. And here's another rather startling statistic. One out of every five people over the age of 50 is at high risk of needing long-term care within the next 12 months. And sadly, the lifetime risk of entering a nursing home faced by people who have reached age 65 is at least 40%.
With the growing popularity of home care, more and more people are being cared for at home, often by their spouses or children. In fact, nearly 72% of those over age 65 will use some form of home health care. The odds of your needing long-term care are greater than you may have imagined. 80% of married couples will have a spouse who will need long-term care. Please realize that these facts aren't intended to frighten you in any way. But it would be a disservice if we didn't give you a clear understanding of the risks you may face. You'll soon understand why long-term care has become such an issue in today's society. You see, if you or a loved one needed care, the cost could be enormous, and not necessarily in dollars. Preserving one's dignity, having choices and control, and enjoying quality of life are so important when long-term care is needed. But first, let's look at some costs. The cost of long-term care is astounding. According to MetLife's market survey, the cost of one year in a nursing home is estimated at $52,000. In some regions, it can easily cost twice as much. Long-term care insurance can help offset the bills and help ensure that you receive quality care in the nursing home of your choice, whether or not it's Medicare approved. Many people say they do not want to be institutionalized. They'd rather be cared for in the privacy of their own home. Well, home care is expensive too. One study shows that the cost for a home health aid averages $27 an hour. The cost of 24-hour care is about $240 daily. You can see on this slide the actual cost of care in your state. Let's face it, nursing home and home health care is expensive, and many people think the government will pay. But as you can see from the pie chart, the government actually pays very little. The reason for this is that Medicare will only pay for 100 days of skilled nursing home care, and you must be hospitalized first. Home health care coverage under Medicare is very minimal. In fact, for the first six months of 2001, Medicare paid for an average of fewer than 19 covered home health care visits per episode. And as you can see by the chart, individual and group health insurance doesn't cover much of the cost today either. So who has the burden of paying for long-term care? Everyday people, like you and me, must pay for it out of our own pockets. People who are poor enough can qualify for Medicaid, but then they're limited as to where they can stay and the quality of care they can expect. Long-term care is so expensive that the government estimates almost 50% of the people entering nursing homes today will spend down their assets and qualify for Medicaid before they die. This means that today there are only three ways to pay for the cost of long-term care. You can be rich, you can be poor, or you can be insured. If you're like most people, your home and autos, savings and investments, and of course your current income make up your estate. Unfortunately, an occurrence beyond your control, a catastrophic event could wipe out most of your assets. So you protect the things that are important to you, like your house. One of the things that could happen is your house could burn down. If you lost your house and all of your personal property, that could put a big dent in your estate. So you protect your house with homeowners or renters insurance. Another thing that could happen is you could get into a serious car accident and get sued. Again, that could put a big dent in or even wipe out your estate. So you purchase auto insurance to protect yourself against a major outlay of money. Here's another example. You may someday suffer what we call a short-term medical situation. For instance, you could have a serious heart attack. If you did, you'd run up hospital bills, doctor bills, and so on. The pile of bills would certainly deplete your assets, maybe put you in debt. But fortunately, your health insurance protects you and helps offset the bills. But today, as you sit here, there's one more risk that should be protected, and that is the risk of long-term care. Let's say that you suffered a serious stroke and found that you needed one to two years of rehab to recover. If that rehab were to cost $50,000 per year, it would put a serious dent in your estate. But not if you had protection, not if you had long-term care insurance. 
Financial risk, of course, is a key reason to buy long-term care insurance. Most people look for ways to protect their assets. But as you learn more, you'll begin to realize that there are many other reasons why this protection is so very important, like choice and independence, or not burdening those you love with caregiving responsibilities. So let's take a look at each of these. Choice and independence is a key reason to purchase long-term care insurance. When you're insured, you're free to choose where you want to be. You know that if you get sick or need assistance, you can count on quality care in a setting of your choice. If you're like most people, you would do anything to avoid confinement in a nursing home. You'd very much prefer the comfort of your own home or even an assisted living facility. Long-term care insurance gives you options and control. And although nursing home care is covered, it's often a last resort. All of this falls into the area of choice and independence. When the government pays your way, you don't have a lot of choices. You have to contend with what the government is willing to pay for. And normally, especially under Medicaid, that means one thing, going into a nursing home, and not necessarily one of your own choosing. You see, the government normally won't cover personal care at home or care in an assisted living facility. If you're like most of our clients, you'd probably rather stay in the comfort of your own home than go into a nursing home. Today's agents know the value of choice and independence. When they design plans, they design them not only to help protect your assets, they design them to help you stay out of a nursing home. And to most clients, this is a very important factor in their decision. To many, it's the number one reason for purchasing long-term care insurance. You know, most people shudder at the thought of a nursing home. I agree, it's a depressing setting. Needing long-term care is traumatic enough, but the trauma is lessened considerably when you're in familiar surroundings, your living room, your kitchen, your bedroom, your bathroom. That's why the centerpiece of many policies is home care, often with no waiting period. Some plans will actually pay for benefits even when care is received on an informal basis. That's right, care can be provided by family and friends. Not a penny has to be spent. All you'd need to do is qualify for benefits. Monthly benefit payments come directly to you to spend as you wish. Please ask your agent to tell you about this great feature. Another key reason for getting long-term care insurance is to avoid burdening your family with caregiving responsibilities. The problem here is that most children are pretty good-hearted. They don't ever want to place their mom or dad in a nursing home. On the other hand, they don't realize the problems that often occur when children attempt to care for a parent, like financial hardships, time away from family and work, and the stress of trying to juggle their lives and schedules while caring for a parent. Many times, parents tell me that they want to be remembered as caregivers, not the ones needing care. Long-term care coverage solves this problem by allowing parents to get the care and services they need without burdening their children. The children can help, of course, without having the entire burden resting on their shoulders. Even though choice and independence, or not burdening your children, is important, many people buy this coverage to protect their assets. Once they learn that the government and health insurance won't pay for most long-term care, they realize they're left with two options. One, cover the cost of long-term care themselves, or two, make sure they have sufficient coverage. This leads to another important question. Would you rather risk spending your savings in a nursing home? Or would you prefer to leave the money for your children, your grandchildren, or perhaps your favorite charity? Married couples have an additional concern here. If one spouse ends up in a long-term care situation and goes to the government to ask for help under Medicaid, the government will limit the amount of income and assets that the spouse is allowed to keep. Today, many states can limit the other spouse to as little as $1,493 of monthly income. This sometimes means that even when Medicaid is paying for a spouse in the nursing home, the other spouse struggles, trying to live on a reduced income. Most married couples recognize the importance of protecting each other against this terrible situation. Okay, so let's recap. 
Most people buy long-term care insurance for all three reasons. One, choice and independence. It's so important to give yourself freedom of choice, to be able to choose the type of care you want, to have a choice of care settings. Yes, freedom of choice can help you remain independent and in control. Two, to avoid burdening family with caregiving responsibilities. After all, you want to be remembered as a caregiver, not the one who needed care. And of course, three, to protect your savings and assets. You want to preserve your nest egg, your financial security, the inheritance you hope to pass on to your loved ones. When you look at all three reasons, you'll instantly pick the one that's most important to you, your key reason for owning a long-term care insurance policy. But if I ask you, why wouldn't you buy long-term care insurance? you'd probably respond like most people and say, I may not be able to afford it. So remember one thing as you continue here. You have choices. Most agents represent several long-term care insurance companies, which allow them to design a plan that can fit most anyone's budget and most anyone's needs. It's a little like shopping for a car. Some people choose the economy model, and others can afford the Cadillac even the limousine. The point is, most everyone can afford a long-term care policy. The choice is entirely up to you, but one thing is for certain. Long-term care insurance will never be as affordable for you as it is today. Rates go up with age, and it's always better to apply while you're still in good health. By planning ahead, you'll make sure that you're getting the protection you want. Let's see what a long-term care insurance policy can do for you. No doubt you'd want to receive care in the privacy of your home. Most people do. Home care means not having to share a room or eat your meals with people you don't know. When you're cared for at home, it's easier for family, small children, and friends to visit you in pleasant and familiar surroundings. And one of the best things about long-term care protection is that it lets you enjoy freedom of choice. You're in control. You get to choose between home care or being confined in a nursing home. And with the growing popularity of home care, all types of services are readily obtainable. Policies even provide assistance with care coordination, designed to help you find the right services and care personnel. Care coordination coupled with an array of home care benefits can greatly enhance your ability to remain at home. There may come a time when you decide you don't want to stay at home, an assisted living facility is the next logical step. It's an appropriate choice when you require regular assistance but don't require continuous nursing care. Having long-term care insurance gives you choices and the ability to choose the type of assisted living facility that meets your needs. You can live more independently than you could at a nursing home and your need for assistance will be met. Remember, the choice is yours. If you want to move to an assisted living facility, you can. There may be a stage in your life when only a nursing home will do. Having long-term care insurance gives you the freedom to receive round-the-clock care in a nursing home of your choice. The facility does not have to be Medicare approved, so you can pick and choose where you want to stay. But quality nursing home care is expensive, and you need long-term care insurance to help offset the bills. As you know, without insurance, your financial security, your nest egg, your retirement plans can be severely jeopardized. Or look at it this way. Do you want to leave a legacy to your heirs, or do you want to spend it on nursing home care? Long-term care insurance can help protect the money you want your children or your grandchildren to inherit. In a few minutes, your agent will show you a brochure with benefits you might want to consider. You'll have a choice of daily benefits, types of inflation protection, waiting periods, even benefits designed for married couples. Premiums, of course, will depend on the benefits and options you select. Remember, the plan has to be comfortable and affordable to you. If it is, the application process can begin. The first step is to complete an application and send it to the insurance company with a small deposit. It can take the company as much as six to eight weeks to consider your application and decide if they want to insure you. I sometimes call this the decision affirmation time. Chances are you've been thinking about long-term care for some time. 
Now, with all things considered and the knowledge you've gained, you're in a better position to decide if long-term care protection is something you really need. But it's a big decision, and you want to make sure you're making the right move. So while your application is being underwritten, you'll have some affirmation time, time to think about the merits of being protected, time to be sure you've made the right decision. When your agent leaves today, you will be given a copy of a brochure and an outline of coverage to review. If you have any questions, be sure to write them down so your agent can answer them. While your coverage is being underwritten, the insurance company will call you to confirm information on your application. Sometimes medical records will have to be ordered. As you now know, careful underwriting takes time. If the insurer agrees to cover you, your policy will be sent to your agent, who in turn will deliver it to you. Take the opportunity to review your policy with your agent. At that time, you'll have the ability to change benefits, amounts, and options. But let me point out that major increases in your coverage may require additional underwriting. In the event you're declined, your deposit will be returned in full. If that happens, your agent will try to get you coverage with another carrier. One last point to consider. It's always better to complete your application right now, today for several reasons. First, if you apply today, your premiums will be based on your current age. If you wait until your next birthday, you'll have to pay a higher rate. Second, the medical questions on your application pertain to your health right now. Even if you have a stroke tomorrow, most companies can't look at that. They have to look at your health as of today. Many people have a tendency to procrastinate, but procrastination can be costly. That's why I suggest you complete your application today. Then you'll be able to see if you can qualify for long-term care protection. Chances are you've been thinking about this for some time, so it may be best not to hesitate any longer. Thanks again for allowing me to talk to you about long-term care insurance. I hope you found my presentation informative and beneficial, and I hope it's helped you make the right decision, the decision that's best for you. Take care and stay well.